Okay, I'm, I'm Don Flynn. I'm the director of an organisation called the Migrants' Rights Network. It's a network of uh, around about 1,800 organisations, groups, uh, associations, uh, trade unions, church organisations, working with migrants um, in some shape or form. And the idea behind the Migrants' Rights Network is that we ought to be trying to be a bit more systematic about reporting the experiences of people who are who are basically working with migrant communities in a positive way. Um, there's a, a frank recognition that there are issues there, there's a lot of challenges, but people do not feel pessimistic. People who are doing the real work, the real activity, do not feel pessimistic about the experience of migration, and they feel that we can make a success of it. And the real challenge now is how do we integrate the, the potential um, of the, 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 the new moods and the new technical developments, how do we integrate that into our, into our grassroots work? In the context of blogging, you actually find that people have got an opportunity um, to develop their own perspective on the work from start, starting at the point in which they won't want to start at and very and probably covering exactly the same range of issues that the social researcher is doing providing the same volume of information. There's still a model of a group of people with the expertise who by and large are not the client group themselves. Uh, and then there is the client group. We want to change that around. Uh, one of the things that we're looking for here is how do we make a reality of this idea of empowerment. In, in Europe at least, they've only started thinking about power analysis comparatively recently. We, we've heard about it in the context of uh, the work that uh, Barack Obama was doing in Chicago uh, yeah. a decade or so back and um, the way that that was for building up community bases for campaigning work of one sort or another. Um, and it seems to have been very successful in his case, so we wanted to know how much of that was transferable for what we're trying to do. The other um, two planks of the, of, of the discussion, which is peer review um, and, yeah. and, and the design and toolkit yeah. design, um, all of that's emerged because I think most of the other EPIM projects yeah. have got the issue of to, uh, peer review yeah. built into the prospectus for their work and generally yeah. most of them intend to produce a toolkit at the end of the work. Yeah. Um, and this will be an opportunity to think a little bit more about that, to find out whether the, the principles of, of, of networking can be an, a more democratic form of interaction, how that can, that can be carried into yeah. peer review and into toolkit design and that all it'll all come together during the, the two days of discussion. In this modern age sharing information is itself part of the process of, of changing the environment that you're that you're operating in and if you do that properly if you've got to, uh, if you can build up strategies for that the changes are for the better.